Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and I can see the end of the year in the headlights, so I thought I'd better get around to making some of these uh, top five videos for the year. And I'm going to start out with Milwaukee. Milwaukee, obviously across the board, whether it's lighting or hand tools, sockets, hammers, uh, screwdrivers, pliers, uh, storage solutions with their pack out, I mean, there's just no end to Milwaukee. So I have chosen five things, maybe a little more, but... Um, these are the things that I appreciate for this year. They are not necessarily the things that came out this year. That's different. I'm not going to narrow it down to, you know, only those things that occurred during 2023. Instead, these are the ones that I really like for this year, even if they came out before this. So let's get started. Uh, number one is this year, and this is the Milwaukee Fuel M12 Band File. Now the band file is an amazing little tool that actually uses this very small sanding band. Um, I grab this for wood, for metal, uh, for plastic, for stone. Uh, even if I've got just a you know a, a, a broken fingernail, I might just grab this thing and just kind of grind it down a little bit, get it get my finger back in service. But this thing is absolutely amazing. If I lost it, I would go buy another one without hesitation. Comes in two different lengths. This is the longer length. Uh, it's just a solid tool, just absolutely amazing. So that is my number one, the band file. Number two is actually this Milwaukee Rover Light. This is another M12 tool. Now this one, they call it if you read this, it's got the service and repair floodlight. Now that can be a little deceiving because you might think, oh, this is where you get your floodlight serviced and repaired. Um, I do have lots of Milwaukee M12 lights. I've got the big square rover. I've got kind of the traditional spot. I've got the fluorescent sort of camping light that you can charge your phone with. I've got the spotlight here. This thing's great for things when you need a spotlight. I've got the stick light which uh, I am totally unimpressed with. But anyway, this one here has risen to the top for my go-to gravel light. Um, the M12 battery makes it essentially last forever because I've got more. It's 700 lumens and it's got a uh, magnetic uh, back here so you can easily slam it up to something. Now, when you do that, then it gives you, you know, this, this much angle. I don't know what they said, that's 110, 110 degrees or something. But you can also turn it sideways and I can go up high or down low. If you lay it on the ground, and oftentimes these things end up falling over anyway, so you might as well just eliminate the middleman and knock them sideways. So I can literally get it from pointed down all the way to this degree of pointed up. And then I could flip it, and then I can get that rotation and flip it again if I want, um, or turn it around and roll it down. Um, and this is plenty strong to hold it in different positions. Uh, if I really needed to lighten it up, I could put a smaller lighter battery in it, but I haven't encountered that. But anyway, a 700 lumen solid uh, rover light. I did think this triangular shape was corny. It was reminiscent of the uh, M12 um, speaker. It was reminiscent of the charger platform, you know, like for um, plugging in other devices. Um, but they, they just took it a little further um, and it works. And then they've also got this USB port so you can charge your phone. You can check your battery indicator here, this full charge, and then you can turn it on to one of the two settings. Um, so overall, uh, that's my number two. Number three, I'm going to have to give the nod to the USA made Milwaukee pliers and cutters. I've got a couple of uh, needle nose. I've got a couple of cutters. Um, these these kind of dikes here, they, they're just solid. They're good designs. They're silky smooth uh, linemen here. Um, and I'm going to add in the uh, screwdrivers made in the USA into this list as well. Um, I'm glad that they're doing that uh, for whatever reason. You know, I don't know for sure, but I do appreciate that, and I love them. They're silky smooth, excellent design, USA made. So that's number three. Number four, I'm going to have to go with this new extra long version of the kind of the stripper hybrid plier. Um, I have the smaller one. I love it. Um, it's it's always been a great plier, cutter, stripper for, for a long time. This one, in fact, 
um, is the one I grab a little bit more often. I like the little bigger, little more uh, power and reach up on the front end, and of course a larger cutting jaw right there. Um, so that's number four. Number five, you know, it's an oldie but a goodie. I just have to go back to the Surge. If you don't have a Milwaukee Surge, you're missing out. The Surge is fabulous. I don't care if you get the M18 version or the M12 uh, version. I do think this is a solid unit, but I find myself grabbing the M18. And look at this difference. Here is the size. The 12 is a little bit narrower, a little bit longer. They are very similar in size here. Um, and I find I usually end up grabbing this. Um, there is some, some sound difference, but the, the surge here is just, it's, it's definitely at the top of my list, always. It's just an unbelievable tool. If you don't have a surge, you're missing out. Um, so what do we have? We've got one, we've got two, we've got three, four, five. Let's do an honorable mention. How about this guy? This is a 10 inch Milwaukee pipe wrench here, except it's aluminum. It's fairly light. That surprised me that they would bother making an aluminum one in this size. Um, most of them are a real heavy steel. I like that. I appreciate it that they're trying to get into some sort of, a, um, I don't know, a different direction, even in something as simple and as old school as a pipe wrench. Another would be uh, the Milwaukee lineman hammer. The more I play around with this thing, the more I like it. It's really, a, you know, kind of a beast. Big milled face. I'm glad they're playing around with that. And uh, those are my main Milwaukee tools this year for 2023. And if you've got others, go ahead and add them in the comments. I'm curious what you found. Um, uh, to be the most effective tools for this year. It doesn't have to be new, it just has to be the ones that rose to the top. And with that, dock out.